We are talking about people who are industry giants and beloved by fans, and who better to start with than the legend, Angela Bassett. <laughs> Angela is never not having a moment. Her hit series, 911, is now moving to a new home on ABC. <laughs> Fans can't wait to see how she's gonna save herself from this cruise ship that they're under. I can't believe it. Plus, breaking news, her new movie, Damsel, number one on Netflix. <laughs> number one. Of course, that is not her only success. She reigns over Hollywood. Just some of the accolades, a SAG Award, two Critics' Choice Awards, 16 NAACP Image Awards, two Golden Globes, one which made history as the first major individual acting award for a Marvel movie. But now, she has the ultimate prize in January. The Angela Bassett earned that Academy with the Golden Statue, her first Oscar, saying this, for me, is not just another award. She said it is a testament to her legacy. Please welcome the gold standard for everything, Oscar Award winning legend, Angela Bassett! <laughs> Six-minute standing oh, ovation. I'm serious. Like uh, first sure. of all, I'm so many questions to launch into. First, we were both at GMA. I'm in the same outfit. How did you have time to change? <laughs> I mean, looking Just golden, the gold standard of everything I said. Oh. <laughs> I, and I think it's appropriate. Of course, you are glowing, and you have that Oscar. Um, when you said this was your legacy, this was about your legacy, and that speech was just monumental. Oh, thank monumental. you. Monumental. I thought about you referring to your mom before the Emmys, I think it was, and saying this was really mm. for her. Mm -hmm. And so much of it. A simple, beautiful woman who just taught my sister and I just incredible lessons. You know, it matters not where you come from, but just hard work and perseverance will pay off. Follow your dreams. No matter how crazy it may seem. No matter how crazy. And, and, and to mark this occasion, by the way, the second black woman ever to receive this, the great Cecily Tyson. <laughs> Cecily Tyson, the icon in 2018. <laughs> Your, I referenced your speech briefly. I do want to play a little bit of it because you you referred back to black actresses, Hattie McDaniel, Halle Berry, Whoopi Goldberg, Viola Davis, and so many more. Let's play it. I call their names to acknowledge every one of them this evening for being beacons of possibility and hope for little black and brown girls who aspire to one day pursue the dream of becoming an actor. <laughs> You are one of the people that I love because you're very deliberate and intentional with your words. Those words. How long did you labor over them when you were looking at what you wanted to say? How was that for you? Absolutely. Well, initially, it was to take place in November. Yeah. And because of the strike, they pushed it out. And <laughs> it was like a good thing because it gave you another two months to just really consider. The great thing about it is unlike the Oscar ceremony where you have maybe 30 seconds, <laughs> 
I took a whole 15 minutes. <laughs> Take my time. Yes, this chat would say, take your time. Don't waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> I took the time. So it was great to have the luxury of that because I just wanted to make the point. Those who've come before, those who are coming after, mm -hmm. and how difficult the journey may be, how circuitous. Mm -hmm. You can just one day. One day. You, you know, what a difference a day makes. What a difference a day. <laughs> you know what was also so compelling? You were in this seat four years ago, this very day. And I thought about it because you surprised this little girl, Ariana, who'd gone viral for believing that she was ugly. She said it in a viral clip. People around the world reacted. I said, can you stay around? And you surprised her and her mom. And I thought about that speech and that moment because it's one thing to say these words, you live by those mm, words. Thank you, thank you. Um, thank you. People Magazine cover, I just saw it and you talked about how I fought for my dreams. Again, your words matter, and you want people to know you have you fought for all of this. Yeah, it was it seemed impossible coming from a little town in St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah, your your mentors are out there before you, not there to talk and and, and help you, you know, help guide you, make hands on or in your ear, but you look for those inspirations. Yeah. I'm sure you are to many out there, and uh, you see what's possible, what can happen. Yeah. That article, and it's up on people.com, people should read it. And, and it's such a compelling um, read because I, I keep going back to Miss Betty, your mom, who passed away 10 years ago yes. and saw so much of your success. But this part continues. And you always hearken back to that hard work and the simplicity of the start and how beautiful it's turned out. When you were on, I guess, when you're visualizing what's possible for me, was this in the cards? Not to this degree. Yeah. You know, I had a teacher that said, you always, you know, there's this thing, uh, the great Lloyd Richards, director of uh, Raising the Sun, you know, on Broadway many years ago. He was also the head of the drama school when I was there, his first year, my first year. And I remember a lesson he said, you know, when you're doing a scene and you want something, you have objectives, yeah. things that you want. And I said, it's true in life as well. You either get more than you expected or less. Right. <laughs> you know, so definitely in this career, I've got more, more. than I ever expected. You know. <laughs> I have to tell you. I hang on every word you say <laughs> and every gesture, and all I can picture myself is going to McDonald's and, can I have a number two? <laughs> 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 because you, everything you... So when you're, like, at home with Courtney and the kids, you're like, come and clean your room. Because <laughs> you move... Everything is powerful with you. Everything. I don't... I, I, I... No, it really is. It's, and it's, it's not... I can, it's not forced. It's just your. It's it's a fluidity, almost like a dancer. When you talk, your words dance off your body. Well, thank you. It's true, not just in acting, but in conversation. I, I I'm very demonstrative. <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> well, coming up, we're gonna come back. The last time Miss Angela Bassett was here, she was underwater as the Queen of Wakanda. Now, on 911. <laughs> In water, saving people again. What are they trying to tell us? The great icon, the Oscar winner, Angela Bassett.